Good morning. Welcome to the Celtic Way Morning Briefing Live. It's Wednesday, July the 6th. My 50th edge is ever closer, Sean. Ooh. <laughs> uh, fine. I'm Tony Haggerty, A Haggerty 10. Should probably change that to A Haggerty 5, I guess. <laughs> uh, and I'm joined today by at Sean Martin TCW, the wonderful Sean Martin. Sean, how are you doing? Aye, football's back, Tony. <laughs> yes, that's first and foremost, yes. Football's back, but we'll get to that in a second. First of all, we big up our sponsors, One Football. Download the One Football app. The link's in the description. As you can see, it's the one stop football shop for scores, news, lineups, transfer rumours, live streaming, match highlights you name it. It's all on there. It's a cracking app. And uh, you can immerse yourself in the digital football world and have one of the best personal football digital experiences out there. It's a brilliant app, guys. Get downloading that. And we thank One Football for their sponsorship of the, the morning briefing. And as you can see, running along the bottom, we've got another offer for you guys. You subscribe to the Celtic Way. You know you know the drill by now. I, I urge you every day, hit the button. It's £3 for the next three months. You can join us at www.celticway.co.uk forward slash subscribe. And for all the subscribers that have done that, we thank them very much. Now, Sean, football never sleeps, but it's back. <laughs> we can't wait. Celtic playing their first pre-season friendly against SC Viner Victoria at half past five today, but we'll get to that first things first. We bit of news, or kind of transfer, but Vinicius Souza, who has been linked with the club since all summer by the sounds of it, <laughs> things seem to be going in all sorts of directions. But there are reports saying that Celtic have kind of, and Ange Postacoglu in particular, is placing some kind of deadline on him, which make up his mind time. And then there's other reports saying that uh, from from Anthony Joseph and Sky mm-hmm. in particular, saying that uh, the City Group owns sixty percent of them. They prefer a loan move, mm-hmm. and there's four clubs interested. Those four clubs allegedly: Ajax, Fenerbahce, Real Betis, and Espanyol. Now, do you see Vinicius <coughs> Souza coming to Celtic, or do you see Celtic quickly moving on if the players humming and hawing? Because I think he put an Instagram post up saying. Everything comes to those who wait, so so something or something of that ilk. Eh, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure, Tony. I'm not, I'm not going to pretend I, I know. But uh, on him as a player, uh, I'll put a link in the comments. Where we've got a yeah. James Daly did a, an article for our website looking at him. Um, and what I would say on what I took from that, looking at the data and stuff, was what comes through from it statistically. He would fill that need in Europe specifically for a combative, yes. athletic midfielder. Um, but James does make an interesting point, which is that he's not really so far someone who progresses the ball a whole lot, whether that's dribbling or whether it's passing uh, through the thirds. I mean, um, so basically the question would be how will he do in the domestic games yeah. where it's not so much about winning a battle or keeping your side from yeah. getting caught out, it's trying to break down an opponent that's often camped in the, on their own 18 yard line. So that's, that's actually where a loan without an obligation to buy might make sense. See if we can adapt to that, you know? Yes. Um, but overall, Tony, I agree that there's a fair few comments coming into this effect, but I agree with, and I've had conversations with pals about this as well, but ideally Celtic wouldn't be taking guys on loan again without at least the option yeah. to make it permanent. Yeah. Uh, after a success, obviously, i.e., basically improving another club's player for them and all that type of stuff. Um, I think that's a fair stance in my mind. That's not to say that Vinicius Souza or someone like them wouldn't be worth it as a one-off. I think it only becomes an issue if you start populating your squads with that kind of deal. Yeah, of course. He is training at Manchester City at the moment, Uh, Sean, or he's part of the City group, so that kind of makes sense. But are you in agreement, and there seems to be a few comments coming in about Ange moving on, if Celtic and the Champions League group stages doesn't sell itself and the players humming and hawing, then Celtic have other targets in mind and should move on rather quickly. Yeah, I, I think that's a, that's a, another fair stance from the club and from Ange. If that is indeed the, the kind of get yeah. to the deadline stage of it, just saying make up your mind. I think Celtic's maybe been guilty in the past of waiting about a wee bit too long for, for people. <laughs> um, so I think I think that's a fair a fair way to go about it because it has been a few weeks and, and you don't know in the background in terms of how, how discussions have actually gone and stuff yes. and, and whether to what extent the it's, it's got down the line if you know what I mean in terms of how interested he is about coming to Celtic but 
I do think just as a general point, not necessarily about Vinicius Souza, but a general point, it does come a time for Celtic. Whether there was Champions League qualifiers or not, I would argue there should always come a point where you go, right, make yes. up your mind or we're going elsewhere because Celtic should talk for itself a lot of the time. Now we'll throw this in, Sean. Nice mm. segue. Vinicius Souza, defensive mm. midfield player. You know, I'm saying a curveball coming your way, but there's a question. <laughs> Can James McCarthy fit that bill for you? Um, right. I think uh, I think I've made my views quite clear on <laughs> James McCarthy over the summer. I remember we, we spoke about it when um, his former Hamilton Aki's manager, Billy Reid, yes. had spoken about maybe a pre-season making the big difference uh, with McCarthy. The, the truth is, you just you never know. It might. Um, I personally can't shake the feeling that last season it wasn't a case of like unavailability. It was just unsuitability because he made, I think it was 45 match day squads, but he played mm-hmm. 846 minutes, which is like three full 90s and, and sure. two of those. Um, well, I don't mean that. That adds up to three full nineties before Sunday. Before Sunday uh, corrects me there. I mean like that included three only three full nineties, um, and two of those three were. I'm sure the the Real Betis dead rubber and then the St Johnston Boxing Day game when half the team was riddled with COVID. So I just I just have those reservations. Um, in terms of him as a player, he's a tackling ball winner, is what I would call him. Yep. Uh, and I don't know, and this is where I'm kind of talking about what James Daly mentioned about Souza, and a team that overwhelmingly dominates the ball and wins it back mostly by kind of swarming opponents and intercepting rather than just going through people. Does that fit in over the course of a season? I mean, he's shown the odd glimpse of being able to pull off an incisive pass as well, like yep. you know, the, the kind of Wraith Rovers game, that kind of thing. But you wouldn't say it was a feature of his game, Tony. Um, no, no. He's more often recycling the ball, and I don't think he does it with any express intent a lot of the time. Uh, I think I, I mentioned in like assessing the transfers, the the, the 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 article that I did for the website a couple of weeks back, looking at all seventeen of the recruits from last season. Yes, that going forward there could be a role for him as a kind of <clears throat> a bit of steel that you put on to close a game out. Yeah, <clears throat> pardon me, but beyond that, I'm still dubious. Um, what's your thoughts on it? No, I, I, I'm inclined to agree with what you say. I'm, uh, the jury's very much out on McCarthy. I've just not seen enough of him to see what he can bring to the table. You know, people saw, saw the clips from the Lennox Town unfiltered. <laughs> and he's, <laughs> you know, so, and he's, he's looking leaner, let's put it that way. Yeah. I don't know if uh, that will translate, but there was another comment there saying they don't know if fans can work the Tony Ralston magic on James McCarthy. And I agree with. Kaiser here says McCarthy has the talent but lacks the youth or the legs. One of our players of the year, big time thought he was a bit old for Anfall. <laughs> you know, so I, yeah, uh, you know, I'm I'd still like to see what he could bring to the table though. Mm. If, uh, you know, because he has got a lot of experience and you know, you don't lose your ability, you might lose the legs, and that's the thing. I'd, I'd like to see him you know, tested and see if he can get a good run of games. But like you, I, I agree with all, a lot of the points that you made. You know, but I just thought that he is a defensive holding midfielder type, isn't he? And a ball winning midfielder. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he, we are looking for one of them. He is one of them. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people can't see McCarthy being the answer. would love to be proved wrong. But a lot of people didn't see Anthony Ralston being the answer either, did they? They didn't, but I think the context is just yes. so different with it with them. I, I think yeah. one one was still young enough and, and let's face it, surprised everybody. Um but was still young enough that he hadn't really figured out the, the senior game yet. The, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he was going to sit in a team. McCarthy knows exactly what kind of player he is. Um he's not going to get any better at this age, I wouldn't think. Uh, I don't I just I just can't see it being the skill set that suits Celtic. Yeah. And I do I do take your point that the ball winning thing and all of that. I just think in Europe, which is where the ball winning midfielder is going to come in handy, I just think the game might pass him by a wee bit. I might be proved wrong. It might be that Billy Reid's right in the preseason does make a world of a difference. And I don't get me wrong, I'll be happy if if that is the case. Just so far, as I say, last season, 45 match day squads tells me 
it's sort of 45 match day squads, but only 800 odd minutes tells me that it doesn't really suit it unless something is wrong with the sure. the, the availability of other players. I'll, I'll I'll go along with that. Yes, I'll, I'll go. But on that note, Sean, Celtic yeah. playing today, half past <laughs> five, SC Viner Victoria. James McCarthy, captain's game. armband, right away. That's <laughs> it. Absolute racing certainty that James McCarthy will play in this game. Uh, now, we are going to try and attempt a, a starting 11. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and this, this will be good fun. And we, I would encourage the commenters to give us their starting 11s as well yep. uh, for today. Now, Sean. We'll just go. We'll take it from the top. Goalkeeper. Do you expect Joe Hart to play, or do you expect uh, or Oliver Oliver Yemi to play a wee bit in this game? Or I'm laughing, Tony, because it's um, <laughs> I've, uh, I have no clue, Tony. Honestly, I was uh, I was actually laughing, even trying to make a go of it when I was kind of jotting down some names and stuff. But it's uh, it's, it's it's almost a thankless task. But I actually think Joe Hart will start in goal. I think he's had a proper break. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, Joe Hart, Joe Hart, we'll, and go. We'll go for. We'll both go for Joe Hart. I think Joe Hart will start. I think Sea Grease might see some action as well, though. I'm noting yeah. it down, Tony. Don't think I'm not noting this down. Uh, Left back. Oh, I've got to start with right back, Tony. Can he? Can he do that? Can he do the? Can he do the? The goalkeeper right, okay. to the number three? Uh, right, okay. right back. I'll. Um, I'll go Ralston because just cause. I'll go Ralston. Are you uh, I'll, you take someone else? I'll say no. I'll say Ralston as well. I think Ralston will start. To be fair, so um, so you might go centre backs or left back now. I don't mind we'll this go, thing. I don't mind this. Thing. Okay, we'll go centre backs. Centre backs, right? Um, I will go Osaze Uragide and Bossun Lowell. Yeah. Oh. Controversial. I think he might play LOL as well. Uh, I think he might play him beside I don't know who will play him beside because Starfelt's no there, is he? Uh, Starfelt was there, but he's probably not going to play because he's um because he's yeah. still recovering from his injury. So I think he might play LOL beside Welsh. Welsh. Oh I right, okay. I maybe maybe mistake there with Welsh. Aye, okay. Oh, oh uh, well. How quickly forget, eh? <laughs> left back, you're going to laugh here. Left back, I'm going to go with Alexandro Bernabe. I'm going for Bernabe as well. I think you want to see him. Just the, the, throw him straight in. Yeah. Can I get to know your teammates and get to know the way we play? That kind of thing. So I'm... I'm, I'm I feel I feel dirty. I've not said Greg Taylor. Um, <laughs> no, I think I... I, but I One think flash of the eyes from a, a, a fancy new Argentine left back <laughs> and that's me ditched him already. But uh, <laughs> um, no, I think we, but the reason for that is, and Taylor didn't actually really play that much for Scotland, right, when he was away. But he did play a lot last the second half of last season. Um, but the reason I'm doing it is not only because what you said there about getting really getting him into the thick of things right away, getting him on the park with some of his new teammates, but also he's the only one. Well, not the only one because there's been not that much of a break for a lot of them. But he'll be arguably the most match fit of the lot of them, given that he was already 16, 16 games into his season with Linus. Yes, um, exactly. So for that reason, I've, I've, I've stuck him in over over my yeah. man, Greg Taylor. But... Okay, okay. Now, <coughs> mid, midfield, Sean, who's going? Who's the three in the midfield? I think you should start with midfield, Tony. Midfield? Well, I've got my three written down in front of me, but... Um, is that right? The, well... Mm, no, no, no. I'm, I'm a bit. I think either Gucci will play. Yeah, I I'm agree. I have got him in my three. Yeah, yeah, I'm in your three. I think either Gucci's one that might feature. I don't think the don't think the likes of McGregor and a uh, and O'Reilly will play. I just think you'll give them a further rest. I'm kind of. I don't know. Um, Gonna airing towards maybe Hitati as well. Okay. Um so you're Adiguchi, Hitati and And I'll say McCarthy. McCarthy. <laughs> I'll say McCarthy, yeah. I'll say right, McCarthy. Okay. I've uh, I've gone Adiguchi, Hitati, McGregor, and I don't know why I've done that. I've done that, but I've wrote it down. Um for some reason I've stuck McGregor in. 
despite moaning all summer that he needs an actual rest, but <laughs> I don't know. First game of pre-season and all that, I reckon the captain might play the first half. Because can, can I just caveat all this, Tony, with and we both agreed that it's probably going to be two different teams that take to the field first half, oh, second half. So yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is just for a laugh. This is just yeah, yeah, well, this is really the morning of a game. Yeah, right? yeah, of course. It's uh, and I, I just think you'll give the, the captain a, a rest to be honest. I'm uh, no. <laughs> David Ferguson, go and flick it up, Sean. Uh, I can't see anyone mm. guessing the correct lineup going by the size of the squad. There's no chance. No, no I mean, chance. Anybody if, any, if, anybody, if anybody puts in the comments here before the game, like now, the lineup, and it's actually all 11 correct, please send us it to <laughs> flag it up. <laughs> uh, right now, Tony, I, f- I feel as if I've Genuinely get better chances of winning the Euro Millions than I do getting 11 <laughs> out of 11 with this. Um, okay. Front three. Front, front three, three, Sean. Go on. Uh, my front three, James Forrest. Mm-hmm. I agree with that, Forrest. Mikey yeah. Johnston. I was erring on Mikey Johnston as well, funnily enough, yeah. You're going uh, to see a Jetty, aren't you? No, I'm going to say Kyogo. Kyogo? Yeah. Okay. You've got to remember, Kyogo wasn't. Uh, wasn't like, yeah, wasn't, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He's he's been away training with Vissel Kobe and stuff. He's not. He's not been lazing about. Not that any of them have been lazing about. But I just I don't know. I, I, there's no rhyme or reason. I've just picked it. Um. So are you are you James Forrest? I'm going James Forrest certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your other um, two? Um, I'm going to say. <clears throat> I'm going to say Moffat and Ajeti. Okay. Super. There's no, there's no, there's no chance, Tony. There's no chance oh, that we make it that. Correct, him and don't. Look, if we've got eleven out between the two of us. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> correct. Yeah, but uh, we'll, we'll soon see. Uh, but I there's think a few, uh, a few people have put in their teams here. Yeah, um, yeah. good. Put a few, few of them up. Seagus, Ralston, um <clears throat> Julian, I don't actually know. Did he go out? Yeah. Um, Carter Vickers, uh, Bernabe, Adeguchi, McGregor O'Reilly, Abada, Jakimakis, <laughs> Maida. Lanky, six or seven is better a Champions League team there. That's it. <laughs> go for the jugular, Tony, right away. Lay down a marker, even though you'll never see this team again. <laughs> uh, Patrick McLaughlin, Seagrass. Oh, yeah. A lot of love for Seagrass in the comments, I've got to say. Yeah, the only yeah. reason I've put heart on is because he's... he's He's not been away like we went on yeah, yeah. or anything. I just, I just think he'll, he'll start, but I do yeah. think it will be a different team in the second half yeah, anyway. So it's, I hope they yeah. all get some. Well, they won't all get some game time, but there'll be probably twenty-two players like his game time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty uh, the poor man who's doing the extended man by man's. I wonder who that could be, Tony. Um, um, let me think who that might be. Uh, so. See who else Taylor Adeguchi. Adeguchi's in most people's teams as well. Um, yeah, seen that quite a lot of love for Moffat as well. You've got you've got a few young players there as well. I, I've I, the, the main young player I've went for is uh, Boston Lowell. Yeah, I think a lot of people want to see Lowell. And actually, we've spoken yeah. about him uh, every day this week, haven't we? Because yeah. he's, mm-hmm. he's obviously been taken to Austria, and I think a lot. Of the thing is, does if you. If you work under the assumption, which we kind of are, that Chris Julian's going to be out the door at some point in the next few weeks. Yeah, there's there's an opportunity, as I keep saying, to earn yourself a space in that senior squad for at least the first half of the season, um, yep. and make Ange Postecoglou think maybe I don't need to get another centre back in. Yeah, yeah, um, of course. That that's the incentive, isn't so, it? Yeah, uh, there's also I know that you both Jaranovic and Ralston are there, and both were on international duty. The kind of the kind of flip side is that Jaranovic was, you know, coming back from. An injury, and basically Croatia stepped that up by playing him ninety minutes constantly. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he didn't play a lot after that. Um, after the the cup semi final, so it might not be as worrisome that that he just goes straight back in. Ralston did play a lot towards the end of the season. Played with Scotland. Played well for Scotland. But Josh Daddy's there as well. He's a right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if there's any doubt that he maybe doesn't want to put the the international players in at all for the first game. I don't think that'll be the case. I think some of the international players will uh, play the night. But if that is the case, then you could see Josh Deddy getting a wee game as well. Yeah, yeah. 16, mm-hmm. I think, Tony. So. Yeah, yeah, you could see that. Indeed, yeah. I, I was actually stopped short at the point of listing Harry Kuehl. I've <laughs> <laughs> seen that, to be honest. Nah, nah, I love it. I think that'd be great. Novelty value. 
Gene Harry Kill, uh, slamming in the Celtic strip and give us a wee cameo. But uh, yeah. But it all kicks off today, Sean. The yep. build up for Celtic's domestic season, Champions League group stage campaign, half past five. Yeah, I've got to say that. Sorry, Tony. Yeah. I, for, I meant I meant to say that. Yeah, just to just to say to people, it's half it's half past five UK time. Yeah. Um, early hours of the morning, of course, for the fan base down under. Um, and an altogether more manageable mid morning or lunchtime kickoff for most of the North American guys and girls as well. So, <laughs> either way, there'll be plenty watching, Tony, because you know, oh, yeah. fifty one days without Celtic playing a game, and for some people, it'll felt like five hundred days. So, it'll be good to have them back, even if it's only a friendly, won't it? And also draw your attention to the fact that if you look out on the YouTube channel, yeah. you might see two familiar faces discussing fact three. Well, two, two familiar, two familiar faces. one unfamiliar face. Two familiar and one unfamiliar, yes. We have a young work experience boy, Callum McCauley, with us uh, this week and next week. So we might invite him in for a bit of a chat, Sean, eh, after the game at some point. Uh, so if you join us back here, get all your work experience jokes in and all your... We'll, we'll have a real <laughs> laugh with them. <laughs> Send them for yes, the tartan paint and all that. Yeah, the tartan paint and the long stand and all that. Yes, indeed. The left-handed screwdriver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's all there. You'll see us after the game. If you tune into YouTube, it will be yep. we'll be on live discussing discussing the fact that none of us got any players right, Sean, in the predicted <laughs> Probably, <lineup. aye. laughs> And take all the comments. What do you what do you two know? Indeed. Uh, but looking forward to that. It's just great to welcome football back. Good to see Celtic back in action. Uh, good to see some new signings as well. And welcome back familiar faces to the yep. club. And uh, yeah, let it let half five come, Sean. Let's roll yep. on to half past five and we'll take it all from there. But I'll remind you all, along the bottom, subscribe to the Celtic way. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. We thank everybody that's done that already. Three pounds for the next three months. Join us www.celticway.co.uk forward slash subscribe. Enjoyed that, Sean. We, we got there in the end with our starting 11s. It uh, remains to be seen what Angie's thinking as well. I'm sure he's tuned in and he'll, he'll give a nod to a couple of us, you know what I mean? So there you go. We'll see you again <laughs> at half five-ish or, or round about then, Sean. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's going to be some sort of prize if we get 11 out of 11. <laughs> if somebody gets 11 out of 11, it's... If I get 11 out of 11, Tony, I want to see inside that wardrobe. I'm just going to say, I'll get people a tour of the wardrobe. There you go. If any of you guys get 11 out of 11. <laughs> Excellent. We'll reconvene. Well, it'll be some point after about half seven ish, won't it? I've yeah. seen half five. It's a half five kickoff. Yeah, it'll be after, after the game, basically. Keep, keep yeah, your eyes after the game at some yeah, point. Keep your eyes thanks, guys, for your contributions. Thanks for the comments. Yep. And we shall see you later on tonight. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Tony. <laughs>